once in a while you need to look in all your pockets. I was packing up to go and I found all this. <laughs> Naples, Croatia, bus tickets, and of course a lot of food receipts. This is two months ago. <laughs> Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I get the feeling this wasn't Kate's favorite elevator. It felt like a coffin. So we're gonna take the bus. It leaves at 5.30 in the afternoon and gets in to Sofia, Bulgaria at midnight. For just $100 more, we can have a private car take us there. And it's 10 a.m. And we'll be there probably by 2.30. That is a worthy splurge. This is so much more comfortable than that horrible bus ride. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be horrible. It was no, gonna be wonderful. it's just be midnight. Sasko, you have a beautiful car. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Booking a private car isn't anything that we'd really considered before, but we are so glad that we did. Sasko was a great driver. His car was immaculate, super comfortable. We would definitely recommend him. Way too close to snow for me. We just got to Bulgaria and we stopped for a bathroom break. Have you seen the movie Train Spotting? Because we just went to that restroom. <laughs> Now's the time on Sprocket Femi Dive! What are you doing? Dance off, bro! Return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Welcome, Sofia, Bulgaria, to Sofia, Bulgaria. It's beautiful washer dryer combo, an enormous bathroom. The kitchen has everything you really need. And she gave us coffee, lots of seating. Oh, these are pillow tops. If it wasn't two o'clock, I might take a nap because we haven't eaten today. <laughs> Lots of plugs. We really picked a winner here. $40 a night. But we don't have time to enjoy it quite yet. We have to go to the train station. We're heading to Istanbul. We're trying to get tickets for the overnight train, which you cannot buy online. So we need to get there to see what day we're actually leaving. And then we'll stop by this place for a wonderful traditional Bulgarian meal. Bulgarian salad and bread with garlic and cheese. Okay, we found mango Pepsi and we had to try it. It tastes like mangoes. It's got an aspartame aftertaste to it. Oh. <sighs> yesterday. Ah, yes, yesterday. Because of COVID, they are no longer having any bus service, train service between here and Istanbul. So we had to go and uh, go to the bus station, which thankfully is right next door. Unthankfully. Unthankfully. <laughs> unthankfully. <laughs> What a process. Having to find one that wasn't in the nighttime because you know, I want to see the, everything. We finally found one. I have a bad feeling. And she did say, there is no bathroom on this bus. But not to worry, they take lots of stops. Which is probably why it should take eight hours and it's going to take 12. I do not have a bad feeling about this bus. I think it's going to work out great. That being said, we are ready to go do some touring of Sofia. And Kate has a wonderful itinerary laid out for us today that starts with... That much. Uh, so, I hope yes. so, because I'm starving. I picked this cute bohemian neighborhood. It's right in the heart of everything that's happening in Sofia. City lights, city lights. The selections here are exquisite. They even have patio seating. This looks amazing. I ordered the spicy chicken, spicy chicken, <laughs> the fried chicken, waffles with fried chicken, and a cheddar sauce. And Chris ordered an omelet. It has a cheddar, uh, I'm screwing up my words. It has like an orange sauce. This is really, really good. Let's try the waffles. 
Oh, wow. The cheddar sauce is really creamy, but at the same time sweet from the maple syrup. These are winners. I'm so glad I found this place. I was just looking for a place and it said it had uh, breakfast stuff, and I'm like, I am craving breakfast. This place was a, is a gem. Absolutely come here. Six to 10 bucks a plate. Now we're off for the rest of Katie's tour of Sofia. The truth is we're actually heading that way, but the sun's over here and it looks better. So we're gonna film this way for a second. We are loving this entire part of the world. Something has been the same throughout and that's that smoking is very common. I've been taking in so much secondhand smoke that I've actually started craving it. It's true. <laughs> we need to get out of here before I start smoking. <laughs> See, I told you we were going this way. St. Nadelia Church. That place wasn't on our list, but it was stunning. Church of St. George Rotunda. This was built in the fourth century and it's supposed to be the oldest building in all of Bulgaria. These bracelets you tie on and I believe they give you wealth and health and you wear them for the month of March. But I have to look that up because I'm going from memory. <laughs> I think I said BC, but it's actually between 300 and 340 AD. If you like ruins, head to the nearest metro station. When they were building the metro station, they found an entire city underneath. When I said it was at the metro station, I really meant it. The city was ancient Sertica. I think I'm saying that wrong. Tell me what it is in the comments below. <laughs> I don't know anything about this mosque, but it's absolutely beautiful. you can tell how beautiful this is all right behind me. So we're not really sure what's going on, but something clearly is because the police station over there behind us has half the cops in the city suiting up in riot gear. And then in front of us here are the rest of them. And then we're going to uh, slowly uh, walk out of this area and continue our tour elsewhere. We did ask some of the police and they said we were fine to be here. So yeah, we're here. If it gets loud, we're still gonna leave. right now being here. It's a little bit scared because of big crowds and noise and I don't like those things. I have gotten better over the years with more travel. It's a little less being uh, nervous around big crowds, but it's still there. Right now I feel like I want to head in the complete opposite direction, but nervous or not, I do appreciate a good flea market. church we came to see. It's supposed to be the top 50 in the world, the biggest with the most mass. But with, well, as you can see what's going around, uh, we're, the, we're not going to go into it today. Now that we're out of there, I need a frappuccino. I think I may know just the place. <laughs> Actually, Carmen Macchiato. Oh, now you're just giving it away. I know. So it turns the lights and knowing somebody's standing here. That's cool. You don't have to touch anything. We needed to print our VE visas for Turkey and we came to Office One. Super nice, easy, and it only cost us for two pages 25 cents. One task off the walk. Now back to looking for that caramel macchiato. I know what you're thinking, but I went there last night. This is a really cute green space. It's been six countries since we've been in a Starbucks. It's the spot. Oh, it smells so bad. It smells like urine. 
Who could ever guess that the shady underground passage to the park would smell like urine? There was like a chamber going off to the side with like people living in there that we need to do a not go through there again. No. Ah! Parkour! Hi, Sophia. Sophia, Anna Maria, we found your city, girl. We're gonna go down Street Vitosha. It's supposed to be the high end and all the fashion houses. I don't think we're gonna fit in there. Always carry water. <laughs> we might not have found all the snazzy shops yet, but we do have water. We're not really dressed for the fancy shops anyways. Now we found it. Well, I think it's about four o'clock. We're gonna head back to the apartment. Did you on your watch, did you? Yep. I can tell time with the sun and the dial. Being on Survivor has been a dream of mine. I want to be part of the Survivor tribe. <laughs> and uh, take a nap, and then when the lights are all up and beautiful, we'll come back out and come do some dinner. Well, I told you we were gonna come out and film this. Uh, Chris said I couldn't lie to you, so here we are. Good night. Today we're using the metro and we got a day pass, $2 for the whole day, and I believe we can go on all transportation except for taxis. We're trying to go to the Bulgarian mall to catch a movie, so we're gonna take the metro and then a bus. Wish us luck. Added bonus, the stops are listed in English and so is the speaker, so that really helps. Just like that. Now we're waiting for the bus. Should be three stops to victory. Buses and the subway are really nice. And you can get on with a credit card if you don't buy your card in advance. In we go. Starbucks after we get movie tickets. Now that we've got our ticket, let's go explore this mall and get some Starbucks. All right, you win. As always, a ice caramel macchiato. One thing we've been loving is the huge selection of dried nuts and fruit. They're everywhere and they're really cheap. Top to bottom, the Bulgarian Mall is a great place to spend the day, especially when it's raining. Now we're gonna take the tram back. So we'll be on the Metro, the bus and the tram. All for one day ticket. This is really nice. Our YouTube friends Ash and Kels highly recommended Rip Brothers. So you know us, we're headed there now. Luckily we got a table, because it looks like everything else is reserved. If you want to come, you better order ahead. Now this is what I call a platter. Oh, this is really good. Look at this bacon. Ribs, sausage, potatoes. I'm gonna be really happy camper. These ribs are melt in your mouth. Wonderful. Oh, close. Even the pickles are awesome. Those ribs were amazing. Pulled pork, all of it. But, uh, but Lord, I about killed myself. Here comes the meat sweats. We did ourselves proud. And another reason to love Sophia, this was all under $30. It's our last day in Sofia, so we're checking off a couple things we still need to do. First stop is fried bread at this place. That is panitsa. Oh, fried bread with sugar. It is a beautiful day today. I'm glad we, our last day here is this nice. But that bread was something special. Deep fried with sugar on it. Chris had jam and cream cheese. Oh yeah. It was really good. If you're here, you should probably stop by there. And you know, look at the backdrop here. You know, just awesome. They even have burritos for old people. Yeah. <laughs>
Our secondary thing is to get rid of our boots. We're hoping we find somebody in need to give them to. If I had to try this place, you can get a caramel macchiato at Starbucks, but you have to do it yourself. You got white or brown sugar, how much, single double shot, milk, what type, you can select how much, your flavor, what type, sliding bar to select how much. That's pretty cool. I did a seven out of 10 for the caramel. Dollar 25. See if I made it appropriately. Oh, I need a whole lot more caramel. All I taste is coffee. I would have to give this a three, but it's a nice coffee. And we're still in search of somebody to give our boots to. Down here, there's an ancient Roman amphitheater. Part of it is free and part of it you have to pay for. This is supposed to be running water. It's supposed to be really good for you. Yeah. And it's really warm. And really warm. It's not bad. People come from all over just to fill their water bottles here. Mission accomplished. We wanted to give it to somebody in need and I did give it to a little a lady. She made me cry. She was so appreciative. She went, ooh, and immediately put them on. That, that was amazing. She made me cry. <laughs> Day or night, this pizza place behind us always has a line. So now we're gonna have to try it. We just got what they have. Mine's pickles and cheese. It's actually really good. Like it. It's like a dollar a slice, dollar twenty-five a slice. It's amazing. Let me try yours. I think mine's olives and cheese. Oh, and sausage too, I think. Oh yeah, this definitely has uh, green olives. These are good. It was funny. The people back there didn't want these, so they're waiting for the next because uh, they only bring out one uh, one pizza at a time. But this is actually good. We're waiting for the 27, we're doing our pre-route before we have to be on our bus tomorrow morning. Mission successful. Now we may be waiting for more pizza. No question about it, we definitely are. Sophia has been amazing. Um, the food, the people, just walking around. I really liked it here. Every manner of dress you can imagine was here. You Great felt com Yeah, you felt comfortable everywhere you walked. We stayed close to the walking street, what was the name? Vitosha Boulevard. And it was fantastic. This apartment, if it ever comes up, book it, hands down, is fantastic. The people are wonderful. The apartment was luxurious. We got it on booking.com and it was like $30 a night. Yeah. 30 US a night. Yeah, wonderful. For me, I think Sofia is the most livable city that we've been in since Melbourne, Australia. It's just really comfortable and stylish and easy. Yeah, transportation was really easy to get around on. Tons of great food that's really inexpensive. That's the best word I can come up with for it. It's just very livable. Yeah, if you ever have a chance, come to Sofia. Yeah, you could stay for a night or stay for a month. Both would be awesome. Yeah. Now we are off to the bus station for a possibly very long, well, we're very long, possibly very, very long yeah. journey to Istanbul. Turkey. I'm sure you'll see more from us then. But don't forget, like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out. We say it a bunch. We're trying to say it more lately because, you know, we're trying to get more subscribers and stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, we just really appreciate you guys spending your time watching us living this amazing yeah. life. So, yep, it's time to go boom. Keep drinking this coffee. Click <laughs> the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>